Hi guys, it's Eileen here, and today I, oops, sorry, made the, um, this canvas piece here. Um, I layered some of my stencils um, that I made with hot glue. And this is what I came up with, with a nice beautiful background. Now these 5x7 um, packs I got from the Dollarama, and I got them for $1.25 for three in a pack. So it's great. Um just to throw some background on there, make it look nice. You can put paper, whatever look you want. Now, I have a plan for this. Um, I'm going to show you quickly, guys, that you can... Um, here, just hold on. You've guys seen this before. This is my pack of iCADs. Um, this is a perfect way to display your favorite iCADs by throwing them on here. Um, something like this. See, making them into a nice, lovely canvas. Um, the one I have here waiting to go on, and I just glued it on, is the one I just recently made, and I'm just letting it, I was letting the, tack, the glue get a little tacky. Um, I'm going to eye it, of course, because I'm not measuring. I don't want to put this one into my case here because I want it to, I don't want to squish my butterflies. I love. The butterflies I made. I made these butterflies when I went camping this summer and um, with my granddaughter and the kids and my husband and we had a great um, camping trip so that reminds me of our camping trip and then you know my downtime and um, there was a little bit of rain I was making some embellishments in my trailer so I just had brought in some stamps with me or um, punches and that kind of thing so you know and had some things like that to do so that's what I did now I'm just gonna qu quickly see if I measured pretty good um not too bad it's not too bad at all it might be over a tad just to kind of get it so it's one inch about an inch all the way around. You want to kind of get it and I eyed it and it's not bad at all. So you just, you know, now you have it um, as a canvas. You just got to throw um, a ribbon behind it and hang it up. So this is what to do with your favorite eye cads. A good idea. So, there it is. Quick, uh, a quick fun little thing to do with your eye cads easy to do just like that you could even put on a little um, stand you can get these stands at the dollar store as well the little plastic and maybe even some wood ones I don't know stands but it's a cute way then you just hot glue a ribbon to it that will match or a piece of lace and um, yeah you could hang it up as a wall hanging so there's an idea of what to do with your um, canvases or I'm sorry with your um eye cats so there we go okay sorry about that kids are knocking on the door and it could be make a nice little um mother's day gift if you have more of a masculine card a father's day gift um you know any kind of little gift and that kind of thing which would be very um, inexpensive because you have your index card. I used all my scraps and a yard sale. I bought like a whole bag of lace um, for five dollars. So for me that was a great deal. And so, it's, but the rest of it scraps. This is a pop can, and like I said, a dollar fifty for three of these. So you can't go wrong if you're having a little sale and you want to make a you or you want to put like I said your favorites up there you go great way to display your iCADs now it is a wall hanging so I'm thinking about making another one and I'm just gonna look through mine like you can do any use any colors so if I were to choose this one I would go with more of the the darker colors on my canvas um, you know, maybe more of the paler colors for this um, to go with the lace and to pull it in. You can go with a nice canvas with with this one here. 
and isn't that wouldn't that be nice with something in the background like so you could do so much and just have these displayed your favorite ones you know you don't have to do all of them of course but your favorite ones you'd have very full walls but you can have some out for like the time of year you're trick-or-treating you can have it as a door hanger so that's a quite the little cute little project you can do Okay, so this one's just plain. I have nothing on it. Um, and I'm going to go with my lightest color. I do have yellow. So I'm just going to go with my lightest color. And I might just go with the background of this here. This one I made. And... Play with it until I'm happy with the shape. And I'm going to dry every layer as well, just so it doesn't mud, mud up. Okay, so I have to hold it a certain way in the light so you can see it, but isn't that nice? So that's great. Look at that. You could even keep the square. I might just keep the square one and lay it a different way, or whatever this design would be called, this mesh. I'm going to do orange. And um, keep doing that. I don't know how long I'm going to keep the same shape for, but just to try it out. Okay, guys, this is going to be so neat. You guys got to look at that. Look at how that orange picked up. I got a lot of light, and it's much more orange if you see put the shadow there I don't know if that helps on your video or not but it is really really neat um the next color I'm gonna go with is I'm really liking that it's so cool more of a red color so I did yellow first orange and I'm gonna go the reddish color here and Remove that and dry that. This is going to look at that. Can you guys see how cool that is? Now, the first layer yellow, second layer orange, the third layer was a kind of red raspberry type of color. Isn't that nice? Looking good. Now, I'm gonna go for a blue, and I think I'm going to just do maybe the edging of it or something. I really like the way this is going. I'm going to dry this before I even add, think about adding any more color here. Okay guys, this is great. Can you see that blue kind of added to the corner? I'm trying to make the shade. It is um, very light and it diluted a little bit into like purpley. I'm going to throw some green on this side. And there it is. And I'm going to dry it up. Now I find this absolutely beautiful. And this is really, really fun. I really hope you guys give this a try with any of your stencils if you don't want to make some hot glue stencils this is fun though this is really really fun look at how nice that is can you see the color this is the green so this is great um i can throw an eye cat on there and look at you framed yourself something really gorgeous or you can even just use it and make a nice canvas out of it um, I am very very happy with this background it turned out really great so I hope you guys give this a try here's my other one here that I did um, several different shapes in the background the circles and my florals and stuff like that so that I made with the hot glue Give it a try, guys. Make some nice um, display, like 
you know, display your iCADs or even just making a canvas in general. Um, you can throw some Mod Podge on that to make it a sheen and to save it, um, save the color on there. Yeah, so you guys, I really hope you give it a try. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Um, even I was just thinking even some ATCs that you've made. You can display some of your favorites up there. Um, look at that. I'm just throwing them up there. Making a nice piece. These are some of my ATCs I have not done anything with. I actually put some backs on them so they could um, stay back. But look at that. So give it a try. A 5x7 is perfect size for um, this project. And uh, here I got one made of um, corrugated cardboard and it's got eggs and that'd be a cute little Easter decoration. So that's really cool too because of the darkness I have on this one and then pulling in the light colors from the back would be very cool to do. Thanks guys. I hope you give it a try. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.